Hello. Pop kettle on. Crack a beverage. Twist. Do what you want. Do what you need to do. Settle down. And come on an adventure with me. It's going to be a long on this. Because it's been a while. And it's good to see you. Wild raspberry, I love it. Delicious, oh, in fact. <laughs> yes. This is where I'm heading up into this valley and then we'll see if we can get on one of these tops for tonight for a wild camp. Depending on what the weather does, we could always stay down in the valley if the winds pick up or it starts to rain or whatever. Alright mate, come on, off we go, that's it, good lad. See you later. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at it. Come off it man. Bead on again. I've missed having a bead on. <sighs> Mate, it's emotional. This is just a little false summit. I know this from the OS maps. There's a, a hell of a lot more to go behind here, so <laughs> let's carry on draining the old fluids out the forehead and back. That's it. That's me, officially up in mountains. Away from all humans, that's it. We've climbed up here. <laughs> the roaring waterfalls have given way to this lovely babbling stream of a thing. The acoustics are simply to die for, guys. Chef's kiss on the acoustics. And it's just crystal clear, I mean, you could, I mean, that's deep enough to have a look. Oh, mate, look how inviting it is. You what? Can you see? Uh, this is a good area, actually. I, I could camp here. My own little private swimming hole. That's a maybe. That's a maybe, but I want to get some more kilometres under me, under me trotters, so... I'll march on, I can always march back if I don't find anywhere better than that. In my noodle, I think I want to go up there. Right onto the tops, but uh, there's something quite peaceful about being down in this valley. It is a bit marshy though, so I can imagine when wind drops off and when the time comes, Midge Festival. beautiful. Medic! Bog Myrtle. Just gone up to, oh no. Up to shins in its olive boot. Bog Myrtle. Oh no. Oh well. That's the game I'm playing, isn't it? Full squelch on look. And these, with these socks, man. Look at all gubbins. Oh, no. I'll take some drying out, but I made the call. I was going to wear me ultras, ultra fives, with uh, just some trail running socks, nice and light. 
but because I thought I wasn't going to get too wet. Well, I thought I wasn't going to get bog myrtled, but I did. So, just deal with it now. Deal with wet foot. Is there more to come, is there? Probably, look at it. It is nice. Nice and boggy. Because... You wouldn't want to have it all your own way, would you? You need to have a little bit of summit, summit. Um, a wet foot or summit. How am I going to get across? Oh, York. Across these stones, look. If you come with me just in case I uh, stack it. I work though, because look. Gazelle head. <laughs> eee. This looks like a path. I'm enjoying this, man. As I say, I have a loose idea of where I'm going, but I'm keeping it open. So if I see something nice or, you know, I get distracted, I'm just going to follow my, follow my instincts. Uh, just leave myself open to spontaneity, which is what is just, it's a lovely feeling, man. A lovely feeling to be out here and to be able to go where I want. But where I'm going to go, where I'm trying to go, He's up here. There should be a path that cuts all the way up to the top of there. And that's what I'm going to aim for. There's a tarn up there. And although it is beautiful in this valley, where the sun, the sun's pretty much gone now behind these mountains and, and that'll be it. I shan't get much of a sunset down here or sunrise. So I'm off up tops for this night anyway, for night one. I'm off up top to try and get me in a sunset. <laughs> yeah. La glorious. Here we go, look at this. There it is, look. Get a load of effers, man. Right in my path. Just film it in case they charge me. Just in case I've got any last words, in case they've got any last words. Go right into a minute. Have they got bends? So what? It's been a while since I've. Uh, it's been a few years actually since I've uh, manually logged a cow off. You know what I mean? Like killed it with my bare hands. That's not to say I haven't sparked a few that have. Uh, you know, they've been down for a few minutes. One of them was down for a few days, but the vet came out and sorted it. But an actual notch, like a an RIP, it's been a while, mate. I pull my punches and I normally just lead with left elbow because the right is, it, the right's just sending them to abattoir in the sky. Look at them. No, I'm done, lads, no, I'm done. All the way out here as well, there's nothing... Real talk... Hey, up little birdie. Real talk... If they wanted just to do me, they could. And there's nothing much I could do. I've got no signal. No one will probably be through here for a while. They could just spend some time and just bury me. Just bury me in like cow part and just trod me into the floor. And that'll be the end of me. Although I do have my Garmin in reach mini, which I could do, do, do. So they could find, you know, come and find bits of me. See you later. It's obvious we're not, we're not beefing, are we? No pun intended, but we're all good. I'll go this way. Through this bog. No harm done. Ugh. Oh, it's boggy as well. No, I'm done, like. That's it, isn't it? Peace and love, Dr. Doolittle. Uh, I'm hoping there's gonna be some sort of path soon, so I don't have to keep having this wet foot thing going on. When I get to here, cause it's sort of bottlenecks, that there'll be a, a well-trodden path because it's the it's the only way really over this valley it's all it's all too steep 
so hopefully there'll be a decent path up and over and I can see the sunshine up there River crossing <laughs> Light work Medic! I've come all the way through here, up here that was a bit of a steep bit and then looks like a bit of a scramble through here you just got to sort of make your own way pick a route through it's exciting the wind's picked up and the temperature's dropped so I'm sorry if you can't hear me that's how it is also the clouds coming in a little bit I don't know what that's going to mean uh, Maybe a little bit of wet. I've got my uh, waterproof, so so we're right. Oh, this is some kind of flat bit, top, whatever. Oh man, it's opening up. Look at that. Is the having it? Is or is the not having it? Look at cloud inversion. <laughs> you are me. sunny. Come on, look at that. Can't fault it, mate. Can't fault you. I'm gonna keep going. I, who cares? I mean, let's get down here, see away from wind. I'm up here for a few days. I, I've got enough food and, and whatever, enough rations, so I can just, if I want to go over there, well, I can, and I will. I'm down the other side of the valley now, and that wind has dropped right off. There's a tarn down here, and I thought to myself, I'd look at map and I thought, you know what? It's been a while since I've camped by a tarn. I'll camp by that tarn, and then even just from back there, I can see at least five tents, all <laughs> brightly coloured tents, all the same tent as well, bang in the middle of this island, and I don't know what it is, mate. This is midweek. This is supposed to be a little midweek treat where there's not going to be many people, but all beauty spots now like the main beauty spots even midweek you just they really are you just don't get them to yourself do you jobs done jobs are jobs done um because they're all sort of identical brightly colored tents i'm guessing it's probably um the duke of edinburgh so just some young uns doing a bit which good can't grumble at that can you all right bonnie lad don't make any rash movements mate because that's a bit of a especially you young'un it's a bit of a steep steep on that he didn't care anyway can't have heard rumors seven tenths just from this angle it's probably more at this side that's a lot a lot of people camping out fair do's loom for a little lad. don't look like i'm going to have a like a beautiful spot to camp with views and stuff because the wind is picking up and you can see all this cloud cover coming in so I don't want to keep going so I've just got into this it's like a delve here delve boy and I'm hoping this gives me protection from any heavy winds that come this way just once you get down here oh, it's not too bad Do one of these, I think we need to, don't we? Uh. Oh, there it is. So much for getting drawn up and all that. I don't care though. I'm having a good one. It's so nice to be in tent. Hey, up midges. Um, I close this. So I just got tent set up, chucked all the stuff in, and then. Went and filled the old water filter. It started raining and wind was coming down, so there's a little tiny body of water down there. It's like an infinity pool, it's amazing. I'm gonna go swimming there tomorrow. I don't care what weather's like, I'm going in. <sighs> oh, get feet, mate. Bit hammered, starting to get a little bit of summit to other. That one's, that one's worse because it got wet early doors, so see it blisters on there, look. 
early doors, but to the one, a bit drier, just a bit red. Feels good to put some miles in, to feel tired and to feel like, oh, I've earned this, man. Right, let's get some food on go. <sighs> Two water bottles, I'm just using these. Um, just got them out of my recycling, look. <laughs> they fit perfectly in the side of my bag. And it's perfect for now, carries, these are 750ml each. Gas. Little towel in the bottom to stop. Top tip, if you put it in that way, into your metal cups, you'll get a rust ring all the way around it at the bottom. So, I just keep using, cutting bits of, this is an old camp towel. Hey, up you. <laughs> All right, mate, it was boring. Is that boring? It was pretty boring, wasn't it? This is an old camp towel. See ya! Couldn't handle it, could you? Try to get out. We're tough, you're here, for, you're here for full duration, I'm afraid. So, where was I? Oh, yeah, camp towel. Put that in there, look. And then it doesn't rust. And you can use it to dry up with. Whatever. Pot stand. Because stability is key when you're out and about as you lot don't know rolling all over shant soto windmaster am i getting peppered by Mijitos? i think i'm all right hey look at that come here it's spider with Come here, boy. Boy, see? Come here, you. He don't want to know, look. Can't be bothered with him. Keep it. There it is, look, the Soto Windmaster. I'll leave a link for, uh, below to everything that you see me using here. About that much. You don't need too much. You having that? That burnt tent? Whoa. Took no time at all real done mad i'll leave a link below to these as well i've got a discount code for you i'll leave it below what is this creamy pasta with pork let's get into it man right where's phil neville where's phil neville and you can use your little towel to hold your hot handles top tip top tip oh, doesn't matter does it look ow 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 There you go. Don't use much water at all, really. That's right. Don't spill that, because that is you'd be that's tears, isn't it? If you spill that, you're crying. A Ziploc bag for litter keeps your bag clean. Tox, titanium, long-handled spoon. If you don't know, now you know. Smells good. Looks bad. Give it a good stir. No one. Needs them little flavoursome dry grit bombs at the bottom, do they? Fasten it up. And there's eight minutes. Eight minutes time, you've got your cellar meal there. Let's square up, square away. Forecast was wrong. Hopefully, it's okay tomorrow. I want to do some wild swimming. In fact, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go down there and uh, have a little swim in there and then I'm going to have a couple of swims on the way back. Get it. That's one of the reasons why I came out. Just to get a bit of wild swimming done. You're going to fall over, aren't you? I know you are. Battery's going to go as well. Tragic. Tragic. Oh well. Battery's gonna go, but that's life. Secondary tear station. It's a great little touch. Don't even need a knife, mate. Got loads to show you as well. Loads to show you, but I'm running out of battery. Oh, who cares, mate? Who cares? I'm getting into this. Looks, I mean, looks, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna win any awards, is it, if it looks? It's pasta, isn't it? It's pa well, yeah, it's pasta. You've seen it. St 
done in. <laughs> I'm having it. Mm. I've not been. Oh no! Oh, you're not going to stay there, are you? Should we have this chat later at another time? <laughs> I can't do it, mate. I'm too hungry. I'm too hungry. Should we chat? I'll chat to you another time. I can't do it. Put you down there like that. Where have I been? I hear nobody ask. Hey up. Before the battery goes. I've just been ill, mate. I've just been poorly. I started to feel a bit bad while I was out camping with my mate Joe last time. And then that night I got home and I just, that was it, boosh. Wiped out with Covid for, I reckon, th like, two or three nights of solid, like, couldn't get out of bed. Or two or three days, sorry, of not being able to get out of bed. Agony. Just absolutely ruined me. So, don't know. Absolutely came me, and then I was testing positive for like a 10 days, so I had to like self isolate. And it right, it just, just turned my turned my noggin inside out a little bit, so I couldn't make any videos or do anything really. And then when it when I came out of other end, I just wanted to do a lot of spear fishing and um, diving and stuff, so I've just been doing that. I tried to do some filming, but none of it really worked out. <laughs> Um, just haven't been feeling it. What can you What can you do? So then I made a conscious effort not to. Right, right. Don't pressure yourself because you're not well. It'll just make yourself all sad again. So I had a little break just to heal myself, which I did, and I feel I feel loads better now. I'm back. And it's oh rain, look can you hear that? That's nice. A nice rain oh that's nice. Won't forecast but we'll have it. So yeah, I'm back now. I'm back. Got lots of stuff planned. I'm gonna be churning out the content. <laughs> Not churning out the content, but I'm gonna be doing stuff and now I'll film it. That's, okay. I guess churning out content, but it's more doing stuff that I want to do. And then as a byproduct, we'll film it. So good, that, mate. So good. Anyway, thanks to everyone who, who messaged me, uh, telling me out, you know, asking how I was. Oh, I get saying get well soon. It's very much appreciated. Um, yeah, I've still been doing like Instagram stories and stuff like that. Uh, you can follow me there to keep up to date with what I'm having for tea and stuff. Love a bit of rain on tent, man. I'm gonna eat this, blow my mattress up. I'm just gonna chill out. My feet are feeling it. I wanted to bring some self standing, which this is with the ground sheet. Um, I didn't want to rely on my trekking poles, so, and I wanted to see what this tent would be like for long distance hikes. It's pretty good so far, um, but I've saved weight everywhere else. This sleeping bag, it's my summer bag, it's the Van Gogh Ultralight 350, not much to it, it's a bit of a Rizzler really. Um, the Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light, super lightweight. I've got my Trekology pillow, then I've just got my Schmargo at top, it feels nicer. Feels nicer on you. Uh, what else can I show you? That's about it really. I could give you a full rundown of what I brought with me. Just a merino wool layer of a top and bottoms, that's it. Um, and a, a down jacket. That's me for heat. Callum Blades, I'll leave a link there, look, at Instagram. Too kind, mate. He reached out and he's like, dude, I've made a little mini knife to match your big knife. Do you want it? And I said, that's very generous of you, mate, and kind. Thanks very much. The idea being that it is light enough to take on my uh, long distance trips. You can see there, look, the layers. I can't really see because there you go. See how nice that is? Look. 
lovely finish on it full tang get belly on it look but it's uh it's small so it's only it's only small perfect for this sort of camping for this sort of camping you don't really need a knife but best to have one and not need it than to need it and not have one the weather's not good enough to be doing uh, any sort of photography or time lapses or anything so I'm just going to listen to my audio book and chill out get an early night unless you want to just chill here with me and listen to the audio book get in here <laughs> nah uh, that's it man unless something magical or tragical happens I shall see thee on the morrow.